is a lot tougher to play both ways than one way or just do one thing. The level of play is now hard and much better because you can concentrate on one phase of the game and do good at that. The most versatile and the most dangerous football player in America, Johnny Rogers, All-America flanker. No player symbolized the new era like Johnny Rogers of Nebraska. I ran free. I ran free, and I was able to get to where in like in the zone. I couldn't tell you how it happened uh, until I seen the film. It just happened. Rogers' running style, like his personal background, couldn't have been imagined by the game's founders. She was 14, and we were homeless at the time. And uh, out back, my grandfather had a big red rooster called Big Red. I was four years old, and he was bigger than I was. And Big Red just had my number. I was so afraid of him, I didn't know what to do. One time, I had to go to the outhouse. And I'm thinking, should I run? The fear was so fierce. But I take off, and I'm running good. I look back and I see Big Red and he's coming fast. I, I figured that I was going to die from Big Red. But I ran free and I realized at that point in time that everything I wanted was really just on the other side of that fear. And once I got over my fear, I was able to do everything I wanted to do in life. Catching passes, returning kicks, and running out of the backfield, Rogers fueled Nebraska's first national championship in 1970. In 1971, on Thanksgiving Day, undefeated number one Nebraska met undefeated and arch rival number two Oklahoma on national television. His kick is high, it holds up there. Rogers takes the ball at the 30. He's hitting got away. That's a fail with the 35 to the 40. He's at the 45. Nebraska was national champion again, and then in 1972, Rodgers became the first wide receiver to win the Heisman Trophy. The outlines of a new game were emerging, but it took players at a school in South Florida in the 1980s to kick down the door.